Hi everyone, it's Stephanie here and welcome back. In today's video, we are going to be creating this card using new products from the April 2018 release. I'm going to be using the new Loopy Bloom die along with the All About Mom stamp set and the Mom Dynamics. And I'm also going to be using an older product called Fab Foliage and we're going to use this to cut out some leaves for our card design. So the definite star on this card is the Loopy Bloom flower that we're going to create and I want to share how to create the flower as well as how to use it on a card design. So I have some of our new felt. This is 100% wool felt and I just store mine flat in some storage pockets and I'm going to die cut this Loopy Bloom from some Summer Splash felt. So I ran this through my die cutting machine and you can see what we end up with is a really long strip and it has a bunch of cut lines all the way down the middle area of the strip. And to turn this into a flower is really super easy to do. You can either use a fabric glue or you can use a glue gun, which is what I prefer to use. I like the Sherbonder H195 mini glue gun. That's what I'm using here. And I'm just adding a little bit of glue at the very beginning on one side of this loopy bloom. And I'm going to fold it over. I apologize, I got a little bit off screen. Sometimes when I'm working on these flowers, I kind of get out of the frame a tiny bit. But what I'm doing is I'm just adding a little bit of glue along the edge, and then I'm just folding this over onto itself and adhering it together. And I'm doing this all the way down the entire strip of this piece of felt here. And by folding this over and adhering it together, we're creating those closed loops on the other side of the strip. And that's how we're going to create this really fun flower that has all of these loopy blooms on it. So you can see here now I have this strip fully adhered together. So we have a straight edge on one side and then we have that loop detail on the other side. And to turn this into a flower, you're going to need to roll this from one end to the other. Now I like to add adhesive as I roll it just so that it can keeps everything adhered together and I don't have to worry about the flower kind of separating in the middle. So what I do is I put a tiny bit of glue at the very beginning of that strip and then I just roll the flower onto itself. Now I like to do this in little sections because I am using hot glue and I don't want the glue to dry before I get to the point where I'm rolling it. So I find it's a lot easier to kind of just do a little section at a time and then add more glue as I go. And I'm just repeating this process all the way down the flower until I get to the very end. Now like I mentioned before, you can use a fabric glue if you have that on hand. It's just going to take a little bit longer for the glue to dry on your flower. So now that we have our flower completely made there, I'm just going to set it aside and we're going to work on the other pieces that we need for our finished card. So the first thing I'm doing is adding some pink Distress Ink to a piece of white cardstock. And I'm adding a little bit of water splashes onto there just to give it a little bit of a distressed look. You can definitely use just regular pink cardstock if you prefer for this. It just depends on the look you're going for. I kind of wanted that distressed look in the letters, so I like using the ink and then adding the water on top. Now for the card design, we're not going to need the O in the mom. We're just going to need the two M's because we're going to use the loopy bloom flower to be the center of that word. Now for the background panel, I have a white piece of cardstock here, and I'm very carefully adding some peacock feathers just to the center of this panel. I'm using a very light hand and I definitely don't move that quickly. I did speed it up, but I added just a touch of blue just to have a little bit of contrast in that background. And then I added some water to that as well and die cut it with a stitch rectangle die. So now I'm just taking the letters and that loopy bloom and I'm figuring out where I kind of want to place them on my panel. And you can see here when I lift it up that this bloom really sticks out off the top of the card. And even though I know it's going to have dimension, I don't want it to quite be that high. So I wanted to share a way that you can kind of put a hole into your panel and use foam adhesive and kind of inset that flower so you have a little bit less dimension. So I just figured out exactly where I want the flower to be positioned. And I took a circle die that's approximately the same size as the base of the flower and I die cut it through the panel. And we're going to insert the flower into that when we get to that part of the card. I'm also going to use the Fab Foliage dies with some of the Limelight felt and cut out some leaves that we can use to dress up our flower. So what I did is I turned my panel upside down and I added two layers of foam tape onto the back of this. And this is going to raise it off of the card and give the whole panel some dimension. And it's going to allow us to tuck our flower right inside of that hole that we die cut and it's going to have it kind of sit more flush with the top of that panel. So now that I have all of the pieces die cut and I kind of know exactly where I want to have the main sentiment on the card, I'm just kind of moving stuff around and positioning the leaves with the flower to figure out where I want to adhere them down. I did trim some of the bottoms off of some of those leaves so that they would tuck in closer to the flower. And now that I kind of have a general idea, I just took the panel off of the card front and I'm going to start to adhere all of the pieces on. 
For the two M's, I just use some regular liquid glue and I'm just adding that to the back of those letters and then adhering those directly to the panel. And I'm making sure to add those on first because I will have a little bit of overlap with one of the leaves on those letter M's. For the felt leaves, I'm using some Nouveau glue and this is just going to allow me to add little dots of glue to each of those leaves and then I'm just using tweezers to position those onto the panel. You do want to be a little bit careful with these because they are felt and they're a little bit delicate once you die cut them. So as long as you're careful, you'll be able to easily add those to the card and then get that really cool texture with the felt. Now for the flower, we're going to adhere that once we have the panel adhered to the card front. So it's just kind of sitting there for right now while I do the rest of the sentiment. So for this smaller sentiment, I used the Best Mom Ever from the All About Mom stamp set and stamped it onto a strip of black cardstock with Versamark ink and white heat embossed it. And then I just tucked it under one of those little leaves there. Now I added the panel to my card base and now we can add the flower into the hole opening. So I used that same Nouveau glue and added glue all the way around the bottom edge of the flower where it's going to meet the cardstock base. And then I put the flower carefully into the hole opening and I'm just kind of pressing down on it till I have that glue kind of set. And then I set it aside to completely dry. To finish off the card, I wanted a little bit of clear gems kind of scattered around the flower. I love clear gems with any type of floral designs because I think it kind of looks like water droplets and I just think it adds a really nice touch to a card. So I added those scattered around and now we have this card finished and we have this beautiful loopy bloom flower in the center and we have all of this great texture and dimension. This would definitely be a card that is better to hand deliver as it would be a little bit difficult to mail. But once it is hand delivered, this would make a beautiful picture inside of a picture frame or to be displayed all year round. I hope you enjoyed this video and got some ideas on ways to use our new Loopy Bloom die. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in another video soon.